This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now that we've downloaded and installed the CodeBlocks IDE, let's open it up and take a look at some of its features. Click your Start button. Select All Programs. Look for the CodeBlocks folder. Click it once. Right below that will be the CodeBlocks icon. Before we open it, why don't we pin it to the Start menu to make it easier to open it in the future. So right click and select Pin to Start menu. Now close the Start menu again, open it up, and now we can easily open code blocks. Click the icon. The first thing we'll see above the code blocks window is a tip of the day screen. I don't know about you, but these tips of the day tend to get on my nerves, so let's uncheck Show Tips at Start Up and Close. If you like it, of course, you can keep it open. The CodeBlocks IDE is a standard Windows application, so things are in the places that you expect them to be in in a Windows app. We have menus across the top, an icon toolbar, actually four of them down below. On the left is what's called the Management window. This will contain information about our C++ projects including file names and different symbols. We'll discuss more of this as we go along in the course. The middle of the screen is the main work area. That's where our C++ code will be located. But for now, before we have a program open, it gives us links to do things like create a new project, open an existing project, or a list of recent projects that we can open directly. Below the main area is a log window. That window will contain messages about our program as it's being compiled and if there's any errors during the compilation. We'll look at this window in much more detail later also. For now, let's go through the process of creating a new project just to see how that's done. So click on the link, Create a New Project. Next, it asks you for a template. A template is just a type of application that we want to create. In this course, we're going to be mostly working with console applications. So select that. When you make that selection, you'll notice that the Go button becomes enabled. That'll take us to the next step. So click the Go button now. Then we get a little message telling us about a console application and that we're in the console application wizard. We'll just leave that window open or let it be open all the time, so just click Next here. But notice you have the chance to check Skip this page next time if you don't want to see this window. Then it asks us which language we want. This is a C++ training course, so of course we're going to select C++. Then it asks us for a project title. The title can be anything that you want it to be I would suggest coming up with a name that's fairly meaningful as far as the project itself. For this particular example, I'm just going to call it Demo. Then it asks you what folder you want to create the projects in. I created a folder inside my Documents folder called Learning CPP so that I can put these projects. If you want to do that, that's fine, or you can create any sort of folder you want, or you can keep it in your main Documents folder. I just wanted to keep these files separate from some of the other files as my Documents folder tends to fill up. You'll notice that below it gives you a path of the resulting file name. Once you've entered all this information, then click the Next button. Now it asks us what compiler we want to use. Come up to this drop-down under Compiler and select the new GCC compiler. That will be the compiler we'll use for this course. This is the last selection we have to make in this app wizard, so we can click Finish. And if you'll notice on the left in our management window, it's created a new project called Demo and created a folder called Sources. Sources is where we're going to place the code that we're going to write. If you'll expand that by clicking the plus sign, you'll see that it creates a file called main.cpp. That file is where our source code is going to be located. We can double click it to see the contents. The contents contain a template program that's already built for us. We don't have to do anything but run that program. In my next video, we'll talk about running these programs and make some changes to it just to get an idea for how C++ works.